Welcome to Electra Line. This one is a tricky one. Here we have some interesting restrictions. Again, we have five cards to be drawn from a deck of 52, but the first card must be an ace. There doesn't seem to be anything special or unusual about that. But the last four cannot be a spade. Now, the reason why this is tricky is because that first card could be the ace of spade, or it could be one of the other three aces. And so, depending upon which way we pull the first card to calculate the remaining combinations, well, that's going to depend upon what happens on the first time. And so, we actually have two different paths that must be added together. So, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the combination when the first card, the first card is a spade, and then we're going to add that to the combinations where the first card, first card is not a spade. And yes indeed, we'll have to add those two together. So this becomes equal to, let's say that the first card we draw is a spade, is the ace of spades. Okay, well there's only one ace of spades and we can only draw that one card. So in this case, that would be uh, C11. There's only one ace of spades and we dr we're drawing it. And then the next four cards, notice now there's only 12 spades left. So we need to subtract. Well, we can draw a spade and we've already picked one away. So what that means is we have to remove all 13 spades. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's think about that one. Hmm. How many cards do we have left? We have 51 cards left. And of those 51 cards, 12 are spades because we already picked one. So 51 minus 12 gives us 39 cards to pick from that are not spades. So in this case, it will be 39 cards to pick from. And we're going to pick four. That's provided the first card we picked was a spade. Now what happens when we don't pick a spade on the first card? So plus the number of combinations. Well, how many aces are there that are not spades? Well, there's three of them, and we're going to pick one out of those three. And then, well, let's see here. How many cards are left? Well, the one card that we picked right here, what's not a spade, that's now gone which means there's now 51 cards left. And then the 13 that are still in there that are spades, we can't pick those. So 51 minus 13 is only 38 cards. So here, there's now only 38 cards left available to pick four cards from that are not spades. So we're picking four cards. So let's go through it again. First, we pick a spade. Then we pick four more cards and they cannot be spades. Well, the one that we picked is gone and then there's 12 left that still are still in the deck that we can't pick. So 12 plus 1 is 13. Subtract uh, 13 from 52, you get 39, you pick four cards. That's provided the first card was the ace of spades. But if we don't pick the ace of spades on the first card, we pick one of the other aces. Then there's three aces that are not spades, we pick one. And then how many cards are left to pick from? Well, all 13 spades are still in the deck and one of the aces is already gone. So one plus 13 is 14. We subtract 14 from 52. We only have 38 cards left to pick from and we pick four. Once we calculate that, that will give us the total number of combinations that we can possibly pick. All right, so this is equal to, well, one, one, that's simply equal to one because there's one card and I pick it. And then we have 39 cards, so this would be equal to uh, 39 factorial divided by, because we're using this general equation, 39 minus 4 factorial times 1 over 4 factorial. And then we add to that 3 pick 1, so here we have 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 factorial, oh, not 2, but 1 factorial times 1 over 1 factorial. And we multiply that times 38 factorial divided by 38 minus 4 factorial times 1 over 4 factorial. All right, so let's simplify that and see what we get. So here we get 1 times 
39 factorial divided by 35 factorial. That leaves us with 39 times 38 times 37 times 36 divided by 4 factorial, which is 24. And then we add to that 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial. That's simply 3. Multiply times 38 factorial divided by 34 factorial, which is 38 times 37 times 36 times 35 all divided by 4 factorial, which is 24. Let's simplify this a little bit. So 24 and 36 are divisible by 12, so that gives me 2 and 3. And then the 38 and the 2 can simplify, that becomes 19. And then over here we have 24 and 36 again, so that would be 2 and 3. And then 2 and 38, that's 1 and 19. So, let's calculate them separately to see what we get. In the first go-around, where the first card has to be the ace of spades, we get 39 times 19 times 37 times 3 equals, we have 82,251 possible combinations. Plus, how many do we have there? So there we have 3 times 19 times 37 times 3 times 35 equals 221,445. And then when we add them together, we get 303,696 total possible combinations when we use the following restrictions. The first card must be an ace and the last four cards cannot be a spade. And so since one of those aces can be a spade or may not be a spade, we have to calculate it in two separate steps and add them together. And that is how it's done. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that one. <laughs> Although there's a whole, I mean, you could come up with all kinds of interesting combinations. But here we're just learning the technique. Yeah. We're not going to teach people how to play poker. At least not yet. <laughs>